you're not really able to talk about it with anybody and then you have that huge rush of emotion. This is the person who listened to a desperate mother's plea. This is the detective who broke open the Harmony Montgomery case. Humble and not done yet. I would be able to fill this room if I could with all the people that were a part of this case. Um, I can't begin to explain how grateful I am for those people that helped out in the case. This case took over their lives. It followed them home for months. No, it was hard, but especially with having um, like a young daughter on the way. Finding Harmony is the mission now. It's not about them, they say. It's about returning her to her family and to her mother and people like Michelle Rafferty, you know, cared and loved for this little girl. This chief on another mission too, to increase focus on the Division for Children, Youth and Families. His actions ruffling feathers and prompting upset calls. I'm looking for some type of recognition that says we missed the opportunity. We missed it. And had our employee or employees acted differently on that fateful day when they went over to do the check, that that day, maybe the course of history on Harmony Montgomery would have changed. You know, the chief says there is a long-standing good relationship between his department and DCYF, and he does not want to compromise that. But he says positive change can't happen without transparent accountability, similar to what's demanded of his officers and his department. We're live in Manchester this evening. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9. There is still an active tip line for any information that could help investigators find Harmony Montgomery's body. That number, 603-932-8997. You can call any time of day or night.